and welcome back to my channel. It's me, Maggie, and today we're going to be swatching and doing two looks with the e.l.f. Denim Days American Eagle Collab eyeshadow palette. They really nail all their collabs. I think I've had every single one of them lately at least. Like they even put a little tag that says 100% awesome like you have in your jeans and the, even the texture of the palette is very like nice quality and the shadows inside are probably some of my favorite drug store eyeshadow eyeshadows because they're really pressed perfectly where when you use them they don't fluff all over the place and are super messy these are really nicely pressed and they also have some fun swirls in here shimmers there's a 12 matte and shimmer shades in this palette match it with your favorite jeans it says on the back which fun fact i actually don't think i own a single pair of jeans i'm more of like a leggings dress skirt girly but anyways we're gonna go into the shadows today and we're gonna start with a more neutral look a halo eye which i haven't done in a while and we go in with the shade cargos which is a nice soft matte brown definitely very much used in a lot of palettes but it's super nice and i do deepen up the inner and outer corner with the shade corduroy which is a deeper version of that brown and it's the perfect name for corduroys which usually they are a dark brown all the names in these are super cute and i can't wait to show you the next look which is going to be more of a blue based look but i did try to use the whole top row of all the browns and then i also use a major flare which is a nice black After I've carved out that halo eye, we're gonna go in with a shimmer and we go in with we're going in with the shade low rise, which is that nice kind of swirl design. It's very cool toned, but we're gonna go in with more of the lighter shade. And then we also use the first one, which is cute overalls, which is more of like a warm toned taupe. And I really liked that. And you just place that right on the center of the lid. And you could end it there, but I wanted a little bit more oomph to the look. So I ended up taking low rise and I used the lighter shade to put it over top. And it definitely has a very more of a cool toned icy look to it. And then I just keep going in with those darker browns and just adding back in any of the definition that I lost. I figured I should mention it that one of those swirl ones, the low rise, that lighter shade, since I was using it a lot, I can tell that after I get down a little, it's just going into the darker shade, so it only was a little on there. I don't know if that's how the other darker blue and lighter blue bell, bottom, bell bottoms is. It's definitely not like double layered. It's like the green and then they put the silvery tone on top. I went ahead and I just drug a little bit of that corduroy shade underneath my eyes, just tied it in a little bit. And then I went in with the shade Major Flare, which is definitely like a nice black. Uh, I did have a little bit of trouble at first with this. I definitely suggest if you're gonna use it as a liner to get it wet, dip it into the pan, and then put it on your eye because that's how I had more success getting it to be a little bit more pigmented and easier to work with probably didn't help that my angled brush I was using was a little stubby. And I went ahead and I used my finger, you could use a q-tip, I used a wet wipe, whatever you want, and just sharpen up those wings. I went in a little bit more with that low rise icy shade just to add some more halo-ness to it and some brightness onto the eye. And then I added some of my favorite lashes and this is like the almost done look. I just wanted to show you before I ended up doing this second little addition to this eye look this is definitely just like you know your basic halo soft glam eye but i went in with the shade corduroy which is that dark brown and this is a tip that marilyn monroe did with her eye makeup a lot and they did an underlash so it's like a double wing and then i used the cream shade in the palette high rise to highlight above and in between those two wings to really highlight 
it and make it look nice and shadowy. It just has a nice effect to make it look like your lashes are really heavy and it's creating a shadow and it kind of opens your eyes up a little bit. And there is the completed eye look. I think it turned out really good, very Marilyn inspired. I feel like she would definitely wear these tones, but I thought it was a nice soft glam little look that you could do with this palette, especially since the palette can be a little bit intimidating for like most people. Most people aren't gonna like wear blue looks, but you can still do blue in a subtle way. But I'm definitely gonna be doing something really fun in the next look, very graphic, cut out, but I wanted to show you a nice little soft look. On to look two, and before that, we're gonna have a little intermission of this little kitty cat that has been roaming around our apartments that I named Ponyo. He's the sweetest little baby bean, and I'm in love with him, and I'm hoping he'll keep coming around because I'm going to steal him one day, and we're gonna go live in our future house. But hopefully he doesn't actually have an owner. He hasn't been fixed, so that's kind of a warning sign that maybe he is a stray, but he's so friendly that I don't understand. He also, I feel like, has ADHD because he's all over the place, but he is a sweet little baby angel. So cute. Now onto eye look two. We're gonna block out that base with some eye primer to keep it long lasting. And we're gonna take high rise, which is basically a bone shade all over the lid just to set it. It really just matches my skin tone, which really shows how pale I have been. We're gonna take Cargos, which is a nice soft muted brown. And we're just gonna run that through the crease for some a little bit of warmth because the look is very blue toned and blues scare me. <laughs> But they do make my eyes look like Edward Cullen eyes. If you have brown eyes, blues, like cool tones really enhance the warmth in your eyes. And I also colored my hair again, so that also does help. We're taking indigo, which is just like the name says, it's an indigo, it's a very nice dark teal on this tiny little essence brush. And we're gonna start our little cat eye. We're gonna be doing a ombre cat eye. I was gonna do a graphic eye, but I got lazy. And then we're gonna go in the o OTD, which is a nice cobalt blue, kind of purpley. This will make a nice satin shimmer. And we're gonna run that over the middle and bring it up towards indigo, that teal. So we create a nice gradual fade. Like I said, this really enhances the warmth in your eyes if you have brown eyes. Cause I'm looking like the colons right now. After that second color, we're gonna take to die for, which is a nice, beautiful, shimmer, satin blue. It definitely looks like blue jeans, but in like a glitter form. And we're gonna put that towards the front and really gradually fade the three colors together. Then we repeated it on the other eye, and then we took a nice little wet Q-tip and really sharpened up those cat eyes and removed any fallout underneath because it did have a little bit more fallout with the blue, but nothing crazy. I got a Natasha Denona palette in my BoxyCharm and I was so shocked about how much kickback those eyeshadows have. For as much as people rave about them, I was kind of surprised about them. We take the shade the 90s, which is a very high pigment glitter, very silver blue on a nice little pointed brush and put it in our inner corner just to add some more bright blue sparkle to our eyes. To finish off the look, I ran whatever was left on my Cargo's brown, that Cargo brown underneath my eyes, some mascara and some cute little lashes. Now we're gonna apply our makeup and there is the finished look. Very cute, I matched it with kind of like a orangey pink lip to kind of bring some warmth to the look because I was feeling very cool toned. <laughs> but I think these turned out really cute. Let me know which look you like better. And if you got this palette, there's a little side by side and also you can really see how much darker my hair is. <laughs> that was interesting to see. But anyways, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. And don't forget to have a great day. Bye!